Have you ever thought to do ministry? Have you ever thought to do ministry? Huh? Yes. Have you ever thought? Have you ever done or joined? The, a group of prayer in the universities, whereby you are meeting and young people praying, and praying. Just a group. Okay. I saw oil coming on you. In fact, even it's like you have a dream even to be in the US. I have it. You have it. Okay. And you feel like when you get into the US, you, you do si things. You, you, like, you see yourself that you begin to do things there. And spiritually. Is it true what I'm telling you? Okay. But prophetically, it's like there is a shift that the Lord wants to bring in your life. But this is it. The Lord is saying to me to tell you, that shift shall come by your ability to soak yourself into this house. Root yourself into this house. In fact, even you are questioning yourself, it's like, if I desire to serve in this ministry, where God? And how can I start? It's true. It's true. It's true. You shared with Evelyn. Evelyn. Who is Evelyn? Evelyn. Oh, my daughter. It's very true. Who is he to you? He's the, I will just say he's a destiny help. Wow. You met him through your mother. Yes. During her campaigns. And she's been a blessing to me. He's been a blessing to me and my son. Yes. And even yesterday, he was actually telling me he wants to go to the U.S. He's been asking. He's been asking to go to the U.S.? Yes. And he's even been telling me, where do I serve in this house? Hey. And I've been asking God, how do I repay him for his kindness? God is here. I want to pray for you. Je vais prier pour vous. There is a grace that is coming up on you, sir. Il y a une grâce qui se repose sur vous. <laughs> What God has graced me Ce que l'Éternel m'a donné to shift is coming on you as well. Pour changer, cela se repose aussi sur toi. Amen. Move your shoes. Oh, the shoes. You are so great. There is no one else like you. There is no. Here it is. Écoutez ceci. I don't know. Je sais pas. Where you took your parents? Because. The Lord is sent me to pray. If there's still a life, thank God. But I'm seeing one being eliminated. Even now, my mom is sick. She's calling me. She's but uh, sick. I told her in the morning, I'll go, I'm going to church to pray for her. Then I go see her when I go back. I saw a spirit of death coming. And I saw it coming to eliminate one of the parents. And this is coming so fast. Because they wanted him to carry sorrow. So that the prophetic destiny that he carried can be postponed. Because the mother stands as an intercessor that prays a lot for him. The mother. It's true. If not be for the sickness, and the things that is troubling her because she fought some battle for you to carry a testimony. Because how did I see this? I saw it like something being shot and going up. Very fast. It was going up. And as I was looking, and I could only see one letter on it. And the letter could see J. J, 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 My name is J. John. J. And I, is what? John. My name John. is John. Jean. Prophesy. So you are great. You don't mean a cause so great. There is no one else like. Jay. 
That means the angels have selected you. <laughs> I, I wish I can show you how I'm seeing it. It's like a portal has opened. And the portal is surrounded with serious fire. Lightning fire. And the name is shooting very fast. It will arrive in your time. There shall be a serious acceleration in your life. And the way God is going to elevate you, it shall be so fast, so clear, and so great. Because what God has said, no man can say no. And I prophesy over you too. The prophecy that God has spoken over your life, no man can say no. But I decree and declare, as elevation is coming up on his life, it's also coming up on your life. It's coming up on your children. It's coming up on your business. In the name of Jesus. Switch your head towards him.